Tonight, the damage caused by severe storms has stretched from Palm Beach County up to the Treasure Coast. A large tree fell on this home in Fort Pierce. Fortunately, the woman who was inside at the time was able to get out safely. The rough weather we had today and tonight, just a preview of even more to come. Good evening. I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. Thank you for joining us. The hardest hit area was St. Lucie County, where almost two inches of rain fell and winds topped 60 miles per hour at times. Ari Height is live in Fort Pierce tonight with a closer look at the damage. Ari? Yeah, and take a look behind me. This is, without question, the largest tree that we saw knocked over here. Just to give you some perspective, I'm five foot eight. Let's take a look at the size of this tree. This is the tree that's responsible for trapping that woman inside of her apartment for about an hour or so earlier this afternoon. This, again, the largest tree we saw knocked over, but certainly not the only one. Before sundown, the cleanup had begun, and there was a lot to clean up. Residents in Fort Pierce say the storm started rolling in around 4.30. It started pouring rain and it was coming like sideways. The house started shaking really bad and I heard hail and the lights kept going on and off, on and off. It got completely black. The wind picked up. You hear, I don't know if you want to say it like a train, but it was three loud, it's hard to explain, like just loud whooshes. And when it was over, it left plenty of damage behind. Let's start on Tumlin Clean Drive. Trees shredded, power lines snapped. I never saw anything actually other than this wire get ripped out with the you know popping and the flashing looked like the Fourth of July. Just around the block, Tanglewood Mobile Home Park. Nearly everybody in here suffered some damage. Sheds were crushed. Somebody's awning is now in a tree. It's good that the wind was blowing the tree this way, so then it couldn't land on our house. The elderly woman who lives in this apartment wasn't so lucky. This is the Whispering Pines community. The storm tossed this huge tree right on top of the home, trapping the residents inside. She was hopped inside at first because we had a lot of the tree and debris in front of her building. Emergency crews were able to move the tree and the resident was able to get out unharmed. More damage down the street. This is at Dyer Chevrolet where the storm shattered an office window. And all of a sudden there was a huge explosion. I guess a transformer blew or something. And then we just heard glass shattering everywhere. Fortunately, nobody in the office, nobody injured. Not here and no reports of injuries anywhere else. And back here live now, another look at this very large tree that was knocked over again, the biggest one that we saw the entire night. I talked to a number of residents out here, and they all told me they thought that this was caused by a tornado. But at this point, the National Weather Service has not confirmed that. They have not said what kind of storm caused all this damage. We're live in Fort Pierce, RE Height, WPBF 25 News.